Hey there. How do I look? I look good this morning. Beautiful. My hair looks nice. I look good, huh? <laughs> hey, today is Wednesday. My favorite day of the week. This is the day. This is the day our church family gets together this evening. We're going to have a meal. We're going to have some food. We're going to make ravioli smothered in Jim's world famous spaghetti sauce. Huh? You excited about that over there? Amen. She's excited about that. And we're going to hope we have some extra sauce left over so that we can have some spaghetti. But we're going to have this ravioli and then our church family gets together on Wednesday. It absolutely is my favorite time of the week because I love being with our church family. Hey, oh my goodness, what, what a nice time that is. I just love being with those people. I'm sitting here, Mary's sitting over there in a the chair with me now. And uh, we just, we love Wednesdays, don't we, honey? Yep. We really do. Hey, today I want to talk to you about how a lady was healed of pancreatic cancer in 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Is this amazing or what? Absolutely, actually, it's not really amazing. It's routine. It's routine. But before we start, I want to pray over you. I want to pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, would give unto us, you and me and her sitting over there, the spirit of wisdom today and revelation knowledge of your word, Lord. That the eyes of our understanding would be enlightened that we can know what is the hope of your calling and the riches of the glory of your inheritance for us saints. That we would know what our inheritance is. I'm telling you what, until you know what you got coming to you, you will never receive it from God. Amen. You got to know it. There's two things that people need to learn. What they have coming and how to get it. I am actually called the how-to preacher. Because I teach people how to get what God has promised. Owning something and possessing it are two different things. Today we're going to learn about possessing some healing in 10 seconds. A few years ago, actually not too many years ago, about four years ago, we got a call from somebody and he said, my mother-in-law has pancreatic cancer. Can you come? We said, sure. Well, they just lived right down the road from where we lived. So Mary and I got in the car and we went down there. We were probably there in 10 or 15 minutes. They took us back into the room where she was. She was dying. She was actually very well along in the dying process. And she was all gray and yellow and her eyes were yellow, which showed that her liver was failing. Her liver was shutting down. And so we went in there and I said to her, I said, what do you want? What do you want? I always ask people, what do you want? Jesus did the same thing. He'd say, what do you want? They say, do you believe I can do this? I didn't say that to her because I knew she believed that God could heal. So I said to her, what do you want? And she said, I just want to be comfortable. Well, if that's all you want, you probably shouldn't call us. But what I did was I commanded the spirit of death to leave her. I commanded the spirit of infirmity to come out of her that was causing that cancer. I put my hand on her and I said, in the name of Jesus, be healed. Out the door we went. Whole thing did not take 10 seconds. And we said, God bless you. She was in no condition to talk. So we left. Went out into the living room. They thanked us for coming, and we just left. A few months later, I, we, we were traveling around the country at the time. A few months later, we get a phone call from her daughter, and she said, how are you doing? I said, oh, fine. You know, we're doing good. She said, oh, I just wanted to tell you. She says, mom was healed. I said, what happened? She said, well, after you left, she started feeling better. By that evening, she wanted to eat. By the next day, she was out of bed. Two weeks later, we took her back to the doctor. 
there was no sign of cancer. Well, we came back a few months later to Florida and she became part of our fellowship. And she was a wonderful part of our fellowship for several years until she went home to be with the Lord. Cancer was healed in less than 10 seconds. I'm telling you, that's all it takes. We've had brain tumors healed in 10 seconds. Blind eyes were open in just about 10 seconds. That, that didn't take any longer than 10 seconds. We just spoke over, commanded the spirit of blindness to leave. I put my hand over her eyes. I said, eyes open in the name of Jesus. Didn't take 10 seconds. I'm telling you what, when faith is involved, it don't take long. Anytime you see somebody standing and praying and praying and praying over a sick person, you know that person has no idea what they're doing. Get a hold of us. We will get you healed. My contact information is on our website, increasenow.com. We accept no offerings from people who need healing. You can't buy healing. All we want to do is get you healed and return to the body of Christ and return to your ministry and to your family. That's all we want. That's all we care about is having you return to the body of Christ. I don't want the devil to steal one more person. And I will use the name of Jesus to keep that from happening and we can get you healed in less than 10 seconds. No matter what kind of disease, there's no kind of disease you're going to ever have that was worse than what that woman had. Pancreatic cancer within a few hours of dying, raised off her deathbed in 10 seconds. We give all the glory and the praise to God. Lord, we praise your holy name for her healing and for everybody else that's healed too. In the name of Jesus, I want to speak a special blessing over you today. I want to say the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Hallelujah. Tune in this evening about 7.30 or so, or maybe 20 after 7 or quarter after 7, somewhere in that neighborhood. We're going to be broadcasting our Wednesday service. And on Wednesday tonight, we're talking about the authority of the believer. It's the authority of the believer that allows us to do this because we understand our authority in the wonderful name of Jesus. Have a great day, a good day, a wonderful day, and be a blessing to somebody today and tell somebody about Jesus.